What's up, fellow YouTubers? This is Reagan here, and today I will be discussing with you um, two pairs of cowboy boots that I own. Um, my Ariats and my Tin Halls. Now, I will say that my Ariats were the first boots that I ever had, and as you can see, I've worn them a lot. <laughs> They're a little bit scuffed, but they've lasted me a very long time, and I love these boots. I mean, they've been really, really good, but over time, as I've worn them, they've gotten a little bit tight right there and started pinching a little bit, so that told me it was time for another pair of boots. But before I get into that, I want to show you some things about about these boots and also kind of educate people what distinguishes a real cowboy boot versus fake ones out there. So with my Ariats, they are all pure leather, I believe, from what I can see. I don't know about this part here, but I think the rest of them are. And they're sewn on at the bottom. And at the bottom, like the bottom bottom, of course, they're rubber with that leather stacked heel as uh, real ones are supposed to have. Yep, there's the bottom of those. Now, I will say like, these are great to like walk around in and like everyday use or if you just kind of powwowing around in the farm or whatever. But I would not recommend riding horses in these and here's why. These bottoms, because they're rubber, rubber tends to stick to things as most people who ride horses probably already know this. But if you ever got in a situation where say you needed to get out of the saddle fast, these would give a little bit of a hindrance because of the rubber sole. Now, on the other hand, with the tin halls, you don't have that issue. Now, these are newer versus my Ariats that I've had for about five or six years now. I've had these for a couple of months, I actually wore them in my wedding. These are tin hall. I love these boots so, so much. They are definitely one of my favorite shoes well actually my pay one of my favorite pairs of shoes that i wear today and at the bottom they have this really neat picture i'm trying to get it where you can oh sorry Let's see if i can yeah and you can kind of see that they have like a little message right there horses hoof here it's really cool because they come together and they make like this picture now mine are a little bit dirty because you know I've worn these since my wedding, but I like these the way they're built because they're they're like nailed in right there and sewn in, which I love. And while I love my Ariats and my Ariats are excellent quality, I feel like these are built just a little bit better, just based on the sole down here. And these have like a double stacked leather heel, just like my Ariats do, but. In case you're wondering about the graphic down here, it will not disappear and here's why. It's built with like a really thick rubber outer layer right here. It's called a transparent obvious sole and that will never, it basically it'll never go away. Now it might if the sole wears down, but I think these are, from what I remember, these are constructed in such a way that if you wanted to get the sole redone, you could. And these are like, perfect for like horseback riding, you name it, rodeo, bull riding, whether it's, excuse me, rodeo, whether it's bull riding, horses, any of that stuff, you'd be good with these. Because like I said, while these have like a rubber bottom, it's not like your typical rubber bottom that sticks to everything. You can slide in and out of a saddle very easily. As a matter of fact, um, the, these are actually said to be um, the top choice for uh, rodeo athletes and I can see why because of their bottom and plus they're just they're just awesome and unique I mean there's nothing bad that you could say about these boots um, now what I will say though is if you're a first time cowboy boot owner cowgirl boot whatever you want to say um, 
make sure you know what you're looking for. In other words, make sure that your boots, whether they're leather or rubber at the bottom, whatever they happen to be, make sure that they are stitched at the bottom, like you see here, or at least nailed in. Because if they're glued on, that's not a real boot. I hate to tell you, but it's not. Um, real cowboy boots are very well made. And if you find some boot that's glued on, don't buy it because most likely it's not going to last very long. And also another thing is cowboy boots tend to be a little bit expensive. Now you can get like a starter boot, um, a starter boot like these, for example, I, um, I think I paid maybe 130 for these versus my 10 hauls, which I paid 300 and something for, which is, you know, not a big deal. But if you're one that's not wanting to splurge like that on a pair of boots, I would try Ariat. They have a lot of good entry level boots. 10 Hall. I don't know if 10 Hall really has an entry level boot because most of them run roughly the same. I think the cheapest pair that I saw was right at about 300 and the ones that I have now were over 300 now they were in the 300 mark but you get what I'm saying it wasn't right at 300 it was a little over that um, but yeah that's how it goes and like I say um, it's never a bad idea to have an entry-level boot because that's kind of going to let you know if you really like them or not. Now, something else that I will add is the kind of style that you might like. Now, my feet are relatively small and petite, I guess, or a size 7. But um, these I had to put, like, go a 7 and a half because it's a pointed toe. And a pointed toe is a little bit thinner and a little bit smaller than a square toe which is what my 10 hauls are and with these um i could wear regular socks because they're a little more snug right here and they'll fit just fine now my 10 hauls these are square toe they're a little bit wider right there um my 10 hauls i have to wear like double socks like ankle like double in my ankle socks now if i have like a long thick winter sock I can just put that single sock on and be fine but if it's an ankle sock like in the summer I have to double those up because unfortunately the sock isn't thick enough to accommodate the space in here because there's so much of it so just keep that in mind if you go to in hall and you get your exact size which I'm a seven these are a seven you may have to put on double socks to that and you know also that Obviously, it depends on the shape of your foot as well. Is it wide? Is it skinny? What have you? That will ultimately determine, obviously, what kind of shoe you, blah, obviously, determine what type of boot you get and what style. I like both, but I gotta say, these are probably my favorite sim simply because I love how they're built. I just love the craft, the craftsmanship. And these are actually made in Mexico, which is said to be one of the, uh, I think one of the leather capitals or something like that in the world where top brand uh, cowboy boots are made. And if you want something to stand out, 10 hauls are the way to do it. And if you're more simple and you just kind of want something to powwow around in, Ariat's perfect. Now Ariat's, don't get me wrong, Ariat. Like I said, these have been excellent. These have lasted me a good five or six years. And I still love them. I mean, I would never throw these away. I mean, these, you know, these are like a memory for me. These are like the beginning of something great. And it's said that people, I've heard it said that people that like cowboy boots are unique. They're different. And which would make sense because I'm somebody that is definitely unique. I have my own way of thinking. I have a mind of my own, as people say. And people that like cowboy boots, they're 
very much individual, very unique people. They see the world in a way that others typically don't. I mean, there's some similarities there, but uniqueness all the same. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope the tips that I gave were helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bless y'all. Bye.